Hello everyone, my name is Brant Kudrowski and this organic chemistry video covers factors affecting the E2 mechanism. Here's a general example of an E2 mechanism. There's a base, an alkyl halide, and the product is an alkene, a conjugate acid, and a leaving group. There are several factors that affect the E2 reaction. The first is substitution of the alkyl halide. In other words, is this species primary, secondary, or tertiary? What are the R groups? Are they carbon groups or are they hydrogens? The next factor is leaving group quality. How good of a leaving group is this X group? The third factor affecting E2 elimination reactions is base strength. How strong of a base is this? And then the fourth factor is reaction solvent. What are the reactants dissolved in? The substitution of the alkyl halide influences the rate of the E2 reaction. It turns out that more highly substituted substrates react faster in E2. Tertiary alkyl halides react faster than secondary, and secondary react faster than primary. Primary are the slowest, tertiary are the fastest. This is different from SN2. Even though E2 reactions and SN2 reactions are related in some ways, in this way they're different. The question you might have is why do more highly substituted molecules react faster? Well, it isn't because of steric hindrance. It turns out bases aren't as sensitive to steric hindrance as nucleophiles, and the reasons for that are that protons are small, and they're usually on the outsides of molecules, so bases aren't bothered quite as much by steric hindrance as nucleophiles. The other factor is that there's CC double bond character developing in the transition state of the E2 reaction, and CC double bond stability increases with substitution. Here's a picture of that transition state from the E2 reaction. Notice when you look at it, you can see there's double bond character developing in the transition state. This bond right here has some double bond character, and as the substitution of that transition state increases, so does its stability. And stabilizing a transition state will lower the activation energy of the reaction and enable it to go faster. The next factor is leaving group quality. The leaving group, X, plays an important role in the E2 mechanism because it leaves in the rate determining step. Therefore, this leaving group affects the E2 rate. A better leaving group gives a faster E2 reaction, and good leaving groups are weak bases, and the weaker the better. The X group that leaves needs to be a weak base, and for alkyl halides that would be chloride, bromide, or iodide. Ideally, X should be a weaker base than the base in the starting material in order to favor products. This base should be stronger than X minus. X minus should be weaker than the base. The third factor that affects E2 reactions is the strength of the base. The base deprotonates the alkyl halide in the rate limiting step, therefore base strength affects E2 reaction rate. And a stronger base gives a faster E2 reaction. The fourth factor affecting E2 reaction rate is solvent. Faster E2 reactions occur in polar aprotic solvents. Strong solvation in polar protic solvents is a problem for bases. Here's an example of a base, methoxide, dissolved in a polar protic solvent, water. The water molecules are surrounding the base, directing their partially positive hydrogens towards the negatively charged oxygen, and they're forming very strong hydrogen bonds. This has a tendency to stabilize the base and make it less basic. Strong solvation of the base makes it less reactive and weaker. That is a problem in E2 because E2 relies on a reactive, strong base. Let's contrast that with reactivity in a polar aprotic solvent. There's weak solvation in a polar aprotic solvent. Here's the same base, methoxide, surrounded by a polar aprotic solvent, acetone. Acetone has partially positive carbons that are directed towards the negatively charged oxygen, but these interactions are much weaker. They're not hydrogen bonds, they are dipole-dipole interactions, and they're more easily broken. And the weak solvation of this base makes it more reactive. It's a stronger base in acetone. If you found this video useful, check out the next one in the series or watch the prior video. And consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. My name is Brant Kudrowski. Thanks for watching.